What you're looking at dudes, is one of the most useless peripherals available for the Jaguar, the second controller. So I actually got this in a Jaguar lot that I picked up. Now there was a few games, none of them were two player, but you know, there was a second controller. And dudes, I was actually pretty excited, until I realised I only had a few Jaguar games that actually, you know, had a second player option. Dragon, Ultra Vortec, Kasumi Ninja, and my only non-fighting game, Raiden. And Raiden was great, no complaints, good solid shooter, nothing special or unique, but if you have a Jaguar and two controllers, I totally recommend it. So how did Dragon do? Well, the gameplay feels solid enough, providing you can get used to the fighting style. This is no SNK or Capcom game. There are some pretty interesting locations, and the manual outlines a pretty hefty move list. Even though every move looks the same to me, I mean this is Bruce Lee after all. There's no super special moves, no gore, or even over the top combos. These are long, drawn out, punch by punch fights. And how does that work for a two player game? Well, pretty poorly. I think it's an okay game technically, but the problems are pretty severe. So there used to be a time right when fighting games that only give you one or two characters to choose from, like take art of fighting, but at least in versus mode, you actually got to pick from the roster. In Dragon, you're only Bruce Lee all the time, and he's a cool character. And I guess in two player mode, two Bruce's are better than one, and they change the colour of the shorts for you, but it's just not acceptable. Dragon has one redeeming feature though. You can play verse mode, Bruce vs Bruce, or you can play co-op. Dragon is the only co-op fighting game available for the Jaguar. So lap it up dudes, this game, it's as close to actually playing Streets of Rage or Street Fighter as us Jag owners can get, but luckily, there are better fighting game options for the Jaguar, they just play a little bit closer to Mortal Kombat. Kasumi Ninja is where most Jaguar owners start out, and dudes, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, there are a few things wrong with Kasumi Ninja, but if you have one of those useless second Jaguar controllers bouncing around, you can do a lot worse than playing this, which is a pretty loaded compliment. As far as fighting games go for the Jaguar, this one's exclusive, and it's got more playable characters than Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, which isn't something to brag about. So as for that second controller, you'll want to keep it really close to your dudes. I mean, Kasumi Ninja is not really well known for its engrossing storyline or its finger burning gameplay. You want to make sure you have a mate to play with. So, you know, plug that second controller in, strap your mate in. They will hate it at first, but you can't stay mad at this game. It's just so harmless. And it's obvious that the developers had a really good sense of humour. If you can get past the totally jacked up stereotypes, there's some pretty interesting moves and fatalities. And in all honesty, the game doesn't look half bad. Some pretty cool locations, the game's a bit choppy, but I get the feeling the biggest drawback for any Jaguar fighting game is the control pad. As you probably already know, the Jaguar has a pretty wicked controller, but it's only got three buttons. Not even the pro controller will help you here dudes. You're stuck with punch, kick and block. One thing that annoys me are the aerial attacks. Jumping and attacking is just a real pain in the ass with this game. If you're playing on your own, like if you're a loser or something, the game only starts off with two playable characters. You can unlock more characters as you play through, providing you beat your opponents. See, you get this massive book with this game, but unlike Dragon, there's no move lists included. You've got to work them all out for yourself. And as an added bonus, you actually get a cool bandana with it, just so everyone knows that you're a Kasumi Ninja. So as far as the fighting Jaguar games go, I would actually recommend Kasumi Ninja, despite all its flaws, just because at its core, broken down to the very essence, it's still fun. Sure, no mercy. There are some great moves, if you can work them out. The characters are strange, and if it wasn't for Ultra Vortec, this would be the best fighter on the Jag. So yeah, look, a whole bunch of us got together and we decided that Ultra Vortec was the best game for the Jag. I mean, you miss out on the bandana, but the trade-off, it's totally worth it. So the Jaguar has always struggled a little bit with the fighting genre. I mean, on one hand, you've got lots of exclusive unique titles, like Kasumi Ninja, Fight for Life, and you know, the highlight, Ultra Vortec. On the other hand, this is the highlight, Ultra Vortec. And don't get me wrong, I love Ultra Vortec, but it's not perfect. The game feels a little bit choppy, some of the characters seem a little, you know, stereotyped. So I've actually played this game through on my own, and look dudes, 
I'll do it again. It's not that I'm crazy, but this is the only Jaguar fighting title that I own, where you can choose your own character from the very start. So there was actually some time and effort put into the stages, things moving in the background, you know, there's some stage fatalities. I'd actually go ahead and say, if there is any doubt about the best fighting game for the Jaguar, just check out the stages in Ultra Vortech. And if you do tackle this game on your own, it's actually kind of fun to play through the game, just to check out some of the locations. It's actually been pretty hard to argue that games like Ultra Vortech on a 64-bit console look any better than the 16-bit games. But the detail in the set kind of confirms it for me. The Jaguar, it had a lot of horsepower under its belt. Unless, of course, we're comparing it to the Neo Geo. For that thing, it's like the king of all consoles when it came to fighting games. If you're one of those people who keeps their second Jaguar controller in a box, you know, mint condition, just in case the first one breaks, dudes, you're doing it freaking wrong. The Jaguar and all its bits are built to be a hardcore games machine. But some kind of fragile, pristine collector's item. Plug that second controller in the second controller port, boot up Ultra Vortec, and get that friend over. The one who played Dragon. He'll be freaking relieved, man. If you made your friend play Dragon before, he might actually be thanking you for Ultra Vortec. Though, if you can get your friend to play two Jaguar fighting games in a row, you must be some kind of Romeo. At least if you're struggling getting your head around some of the wacky move combinations, the manual helps you out with a standard moves list. You'll need to find the fatalities out for yourself. But where Kasumi Ninja started, Ultra Vortec finishes off. Sure, Kasumi Ninja had a handful of cool moves, but Ultra Vortec has a fist load more. And most of the characters, they all feel really different. The big tanks are slow, the quick fighters are quick, and the all-rounders are, well, well-rounded. And I guess it doesn't make too much difference to the gameplay, but Ultra Vortec really tried to have a story. And that to me, it's pretty remarkable. Especially for a Jaguar game. Especially for a fighter. And I'm not just talking about a paragraph in the manual. Each character has quite a detailed history. Each belonging to like some kind of group or a faction. There's ancient legends, an ending for each fighter, pieces of a tablet to collect, and even an ancient spell. This game crammed in more story than any fighting game I know. And even though reading is gay, it's actually got some pretty kick-ass scenarios. So in the last few episodes, we covered Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, and Kasumi Ninja. Out of all the Jaguar fighting games, if you're really serious about using that second controller, I recommend hunting down Ultra Vortec, even though Kasumi Ninja is just so much easier to come across. Or you could try a different console. I mean, the Neo Geo's got a few good fighters, 